welcome to another video for mathematics for gate examination in this video I will explain you about the gradient so first of all you should learn about what exactly the gradient is and how you can apply this gradient to any function suppose uh, there is a 3d space and for each point there is some scalar quantity f is dependent on the position of x y and g suppose this x coordinate this y coordinate and this is g coordinate and at any point take any point r there is a scalar quantity associated with that point and that f is a function of x y and g suppose uh, for example temperature in the region uh, suppose uh, this is the point of origin of heat so at every place there there is different uh, temperature and it depends upon the x y and z position so in this but uh, f temperature is scalar quantity so f is also a scalar quantity and its value depends on x y and g now suppose uh, i plot a surface like this which is having the same values of f so f x y this is the line of f x y this is the surface of f x y z is equal to constant and if you want to find the any normal values so normal to the surface vec in vector form what what you will do you require to find out the gradient at that point that will give the normal vector at that point on that surface in earlier video i explained uh, if f is the function of x y and z you can uh, partially differentiate f with respect to x that that will give the slope of uh, that surface along x axis so del f by del x is slope slope in x direction similarly del f by del y give the slope in y direction del f by del z give the slope in z direction so uh, you get the value of partial differentiation along x y and z if you put all the gradient in vector form it will become the gradient of f so gradient of f is actually a vector quantity which represent the slopes at that point i component of that vector is del by del x j component of that point is del by del y and k component of this vector is del by del z so this is a gradient of f is actually a vector quantity and is along the normal to the surface this is having a property by this property grade of f this uh, vector is always normal to the surface of f of x y z is equal to constant so grade of f is also represented by grade f and it also repre represented by del of f and the, to find out the grade of f you require to perform this uh, you require to apply this del operation on f so to find out the grade you require to operate this perform uh, you require to operate this operation so to um, I have explained you how to calculate the gradient of f so you just differentiate a function with respect to x and put it along the unit vector i you differentiate the function with respect to y and put it along the j unit vector you differentiate the same function with respect to z and put it along the unit vector k it will become the gradient of the function and uh, this gradient of the function is having two very important properties the first property is 
this vector is always normal to the surface at that point means you first find out the values you first to get the gradient at this particular point and this will give you the normal vector along this surface and the second thing is this is a vector quantity so the there will be a magnitude of the vector and that magnitude will represent the rate of change of f along the normal to the surface these two are very important property you have to remember these two properties suppose this and there is a question what is the unit vector normal to the surface x square y z cube is equal to 9 at 1 2 3 so this is a basically a surface and you require to find out the normal vector at this point so here f is f is x square y z cube this is so uh, grade of f or del of f is del f by del x del f by del x is equal to how much twice x y z cube i plus del f by del y so del of the it will become x square z cube into j and del f by del z means 3 3 x square y z square k so uh, to del f you put the values of 1 2 3 means x y and z value in this equation you will get the values of del f it will be equal to 108i plus 27j plus 54k so del f is a vector quantity and magnitude is this so you know how to find out the unit vector by following method unit vector along normal direction to the surface is equal to 1 by under root 108 square plus 27 square plus 54 square and this should multiplied with this same vector 108i plus 27j plus 54k so this is the unit vector along normal direction to the surface